guys. Welcome back to my channel. Tyler here for Astro for Dummies. Today we're going to talk about beginner telescopes. The ED80. Yes, I realize this one is an FCD100. We're going to not look at that. That's, that's, oh no. We're talking about an ED80 here. So an ED80, what is it good for? Well, it's got 480 millimeters of focal length, which is a wide, wide field of view. You can get Andromeda's Galaxy within the whole field of view of this, and then some. That's crazy. This is a great entry-level scope for visual or astrophotography. And the other thing is, it's tiny. This thing is super tiny. It's like a newborn infant. You just want to caress and cuddle. And also, for under $1,000, this triplet can be yours for under 1000 bucks at Explorer Scientific. Orion makes one as well, which makes them great and affordable. They're portable as well. Again, look how tiny this thing is. It's tiny. It's a little bigger than my face, but that's okay. But it's tiny. It'll fit on most smaller entry-level mounts. Guiding, you do not have to worry about much with this particular scope because with the wide field of view, it's gonna be okay. I still recommend you get a good polar alignment so you can get the longer subs throughout the night so you can really, really use the scope like it's intended to and not have to waste subs on a little bit of star trail because either your balance is off or your polar alignment is off. It's also an F6. Now what's F6? That's the, F, that's the focal ratio. F6 is in the, the middle of the lane. It's, it's not bad, it's not fast, but it's not slow like an SCT. So you can still do 30 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute plus, depending on your balance and your guiding, and you'll get fantastic results. So again, I always recommend an ED80 for beginners because it's, again, portable, not as expensive as most ED glasses, glass, and it can go on any mount. That's not bad. So for under a, at least mm, a couple thousand, you can get started in the astrophotography world. Even less if you already have a mount and a tripod and you have a DSLR or a dedicated astronomy camera, you can get going on this wonderful hobby that we all try to look at and get a grasp on and take pictures of the beautiful night sky. Again, my name is Tyler. This channel is called Astro for Dummies. Hope you guys have clear skies and keep looking up. Oh, well,